Hello Laravel friends, let's talk about Laravel 12, 33 and 32 with exciting new features like support for after rollback events and batching HTTP requests. This is going to be fun, let's dive right in. First up, we have a nifty feature for those of you who love working with strings. So Laravel now has a dozen contain method for the stringable object next to the already given one does contain. So this is going to make checking for non-content strings so much easier and cleaner. Thank you, Michael. Next, we also got support for after rollback events. So this means you can now easily handle tasks that need to kick in after database transaction rollback. So talking about making our lives easier when things don't go as planned. Thank you, Malta. On to our HTTP client, which now lets you merge parameters like a priest. So Chris noticed that the current with URL parameters overrides the given parameters and suggested a method to merge instead. But Taylor decided actually this should be the default behavior, so now it is. Thank you, Chris. And finally, there's a fresh new method for making batch HTTP requests. In Laravel, you can use the pool method on the HTTP client service in order to do some specific requests and simultaneously so at the same time. This is pretty cool. But what we also have in Laravel for jobs, we can dispatch them through a batch, which is very similar. These jobs are also being triggered and run at the same time. But besides that, we also get these nice hooks here where we can hook into specific states of the current batch. And now we have the same also for our HTTP client with the new batch method. So here, this currently looks exactly the same as before. We have two requests here running them at the same time. And what this will give us back here is an array of two responses, first response and the second response. Pretty cool. But as I told you, we now also have these nice hooks here. So let me show you. So here I've added them. It's a little bit messy here, but you can see here's a lot we can do. So we have the before hook. This runs before the first HTTP request is executed. We have um, the catch one, which runs after each failed HTTP request, which is really cool. Then we have then. This only runs only if all the HTTP requests from the batch were successful. And then we have finally, which is running anyways. So this runs after all HTTP requests from the batch finished and the batch is not canceled. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. We're using those two requests again. So what do we get here? We get a dump. So these are the dumps which I added here. So before, then all requests were successful. And then we have the output from the finally hook. And then at the end, we still have the output from the batch method. Pretty cool. So if we now change this, for example, to something like localhost.test, so we are assuming that this is going to fail and it does. The before hook is running, but then the request failed is running, which I've added up here inside the catch hook, then also dumping out the response, which you can see here, there's a not found um, error, which we have here, response error. And that's why this is failing. And that's why we also don't see here the success Mm, the success message. So this one here is not being shown here. We go straightly to the final hook here because yeah, this is running in every case. So the next time you need to run those requests to probably work with different third-party services, you can use the batch method instead of the pool method if you want to use some of those nice hooks here, which are pretty powerful. Thank you, Wendell. A huge thank you to all the contributors for these amazing updates. If you enjoyed this little dive into Laravel latest features, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. See you the next time. Bye.